Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to do a video showing you my top 10 steelbook picks for 2021. So stick around. So today I wanted to take time to show you my top 10 steelbook releases for 2021 that I picked up. Um, I thought that we had a great year with steelbooks. I am a big steelbook collector and I was very excited to be able to pick up a lot of these items for this year. So here are my top 10 picks. Okay, first up at number 10 we have Blade Runner 2049. This is a Mondo release. Um, really nice looking artwork. I really enjoyed this movie. As you can see, it does have some spot gloss on it. And here's the back. And it is the two disc edition from the UK. So very happy to have that one. Okay, at number nine, we have the Target exclusive Schwarzenegger double feature with Terminator 2 and Total Recall. I do like the lenticular box that it came in. It is a slip box. And then we have this nice steel book here. So we have Terminator 2 Judgment Day. And then you flip it over and you have um, Total Recall. So I, I do like the steel book. I wasn't very happy about having to flip it over, but either way, I think it was a great steel book for 2021. Okay, at number eight, we have the UK release for Saint Maud. I really like the artwork on this one. Nice imagery there. And here's the back. So this came from the UK and I was very happy to have this one. So when this was first released, we only got the UK edition. So I picked up the still book and the slipcover edition with the art cards. But here recently in the United States, we did get a release. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely check out St. Maud. Okay, at number seven, we have Ran. This is a Best Buy exclusive still book. Really nice looking slipcover that when you remove it, we do get the different image. I just think that the artwork on this one was really beautiful. I really do like this. I still got to take time to watch this movie. Um, but overall, it's a really nice looking still book. Okay, at number six, we have the Target exclusive for Wonder. I really like it that they um, were able to get this one for the slipcover edition. So when you remove it, we do have the image there of the boy with the helmet raised. And here's the back. And then all of these little details um, with the rocket and everything are glow in the dark, which I thought was a really good touch. So another really great looking still book from Lionsgate. Okay, at number five, we have the Justice League. This is the Zack Snyder cut. Um, this right here was a really hard one to get from Best Buy, um, but I did, um, I was finally able to get it. And very happy that I was able to because I really enjoyed the Snyder Cut. Really nice looking still book. So very nice to have this one in the collection. So as I said, the um, Justice League still book was a hard one to find at Best Buy. But I did notice recently that they have more in stock. So if you haven't been able to find this one, definitely check out your Best Buy store. Okay, at number four we have Sicario. This is another slip edition. Really nice looking artwork. What I really like about this one is all the um, embossing that they did. As you can tell, really nicely embossed the front and the back both. I really do enjoy Sicario. So this is a 4K still book, um, but really nice looking artwork there. And very happy to have this one in the collection at number four. Okay, at number three, we have the UK Mondo release for Guardians of the Galaxy. Really nice looking um, artwork on this one. I really do like the artwork. Um, it is a slip cover, of course. And so when you remove it, we have this nice looking image here. I do enjoy Guardians of the Galaxy. And I really like the artwork on this one. And then on the back, it's just very simple with some spot gloss. But really beautiful looking still book from Mondo at number three. Okay, coming in at number two, we have the Lionsgate Best Buy exclusive still book for Terminator 2. Really nice looking artwork, another great slip edition. So when you remove the slip, we have this image here. Really great looking artwork, very detailed front and back. So very nice to have this one in the collection. A great release. It's just too bad that they didn't do a new transfer for Terminator 2. 
um, but hopefully eventually they'll get around to doing that. So the number one steelbook release that I added to my collection in 2021 is American Psycho. Really nice looking artwork. Um, this is another one that Lionsgate did with the slip. Really love the way that that looks. Nice image on the front and on the back. And some really great details on the inside. Here are the disc. And of course we have Patrick Bateman's um, business card. So really nice release from Lionsgate. I think Lionsgate probably had the best steelbook releases in 2021. And I do hope that they keep that up. So those are my top 10 steelbook releases for 2021. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my top 10. And also let me know what your top 10 would be. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.